So guys, in today's video, we are going to learn about how to sharpen these threads. So as we are seeing, the threads are stunted. So these are stunted threads. So we are going to work on these stunted threads as you are seeing. Uh, they were knocked. So for today's video, so we are going to deal with just sharpening these threads. So we are going to use what I call the axle blade to sharpen these threads since uh, this size is a bit big. When you don't have a die to to cut or to rethread to rethread this size, uh, the diameter is very very big. As you are seeing, the circumference of this maybe this is a pipe, eh? a pipe used in uh, like it's like a jack maybe. I will call it a jack for a vehicle. So this vehicle here. So this pipe is normally used to put to be put inside here. So it's for a jack for lifting this tipping tipping system. So we are going to deal with these threads. So let's go into the video and I show you how to use the axle blade to rethread and make this these threads a bit straight. Not just even a bit, but straight to make them good. As you are seeing, they are stunted and they are spoiled. So we are going to use this axle blade. So as you are seeing, I'm using this axle blade, but you first cut in between the threads, as you are seeing, like this, to separate the threads. You cut them in between like this as you are seeing that's the first step so as you are seeing first cut in between so, to sharpen you, you turn show, show people how this is turn this axle blade like this in a bent form not straight like as I've been doing so you turn it like this and you try to sharpen the ups the upper thread part so, so like this so use as you are seeing eh? you try to bend this axle so that you can sharpen the threads so, sharpen bend the axle blade to sharpen the threads so again you make it straight so that you can separate you cut in between the threads so that you can separate the threads So you repeat the process in all the threads till the end. Till the end. As you are seeing. So to sharpen the threads, you turn this axle like this. You turn it in either side. You cut and when the, the axle blade is a bit bent. And you try to make sure that you concentrate on the upper part. So that you can make the threads look sharp and straight. You try, you try to concentrate on the upper, on the this top, top upper part when you have tried to bend the threads, to bend the axle. Like this. 
So this is done when you don't have a die. When you don't have a die, you have to cut this big, big, this big, big, ah, big, big, like, big, big work like this one. This is like a bolt. This big, big bolt size. So let me bring a Havania caliper. So as you are seeing, so this thing is big. Show people here. It's in 33 millimeters. So you cannot use a tab because you don't have such a tab. So we use this axle blade to sharpen. So I'm going to rotate because these ones are finished. So I'm going to rotate like this. So we are going to repeat the process. We are going to repeat the process. So you first cut in between the threads to separate them to see that they pass. Done cutting in between, you bend the axle blade, you make it a bit slanting, and you concentrate on the top of each thread. So, either side, so you change it either side. the process until the spoiled threads all align. This side is finished. It's too tight. So I have to rotate and also work on another spoiled threads. So I repeat the process. the people all this thing and they see but you have to make sure that you try to grind this axle using a grinder so that to remove these excess parts because you may put this axle in the, the spaces on the pitch of the threads when it's too big and you destroy the pitch and you put to another pitch so which may cause the bolt not to tie the, which may cause the nut not to tie on here on top because the threads will be enlarged so you have to grind this to reduce the size of this axle blade to remove these excessive blades so don't just use a blade as you have bought it from the shop because it will destroy the threads so let's concentrate so 
Cette rich, I'm a shop and I'm them. So blade a bit length, as you are seeing. So you try also to change each side. You like you bend it uh, either side. dust let me bring my to remove this dust inside this metal dust yes. so i'm back let's move this dust yes, hmm. so that the threads look nice so now as you are seeing so now as you are seeing the threads now are straight they are no longer stunted so but maybe this is this is the because they know it, it's a bit well, it's a bit big so i'm going to bring a grinder and we grind here like this because it may be hard for this bolt to tie inside so, as you are saying so this pipe ties inside a jack of a, a tipper it's a tipper the counter here as you are saying so that system which tips which lifts that the the tipping system so this is the bolt which ties inside so it has been good bolt so let me bring and we try to make this part a bit more so that it can get a starting point i'm going to use a grinder so i'm going to use a grinder Let's also rotate it and work on another side
so now the threads are finished. So you can see now the threads are finished, they are no longer stunted. Now they look good. So thank you for watching. So I've been as you have been washing we have been cutting these threads so now they look nice they look nice so since this thing is too big it's too big so as we are if we use try to use uh, the vanilla caliper it shows it is in 32 millimeters so these 32 millimeters are too big we cannot get a die which is a big size with small threads like these ones so what we do we use this axle blade so as we are saying this this pipe ties inside this pump of hydraulic this a jack of hydraulic inside here so we are going to try to test whether it's working so this one works in that vehicle as we are seeing so it's time for testing oh, we're going to tighten it inside so it's time for testing So now it's working. Now the seeds are okay. Bad you couldn't look at nothing is all over. Thanks for watching. Thank you.